Good afternoon, folks. While this morning the NASA study damning the climate narrative seems to have most of your attentions, I've been diving deep into another one, and I do not like what I see. On one hand, I am indeed pleased with the study. I mean, how long have I been saying space weather, including cosmic rays, play a critical role in cloud microphysics trickling down to their impact on severe to extreme precipitation events? By the way, I've linked the full PDF of the study for you here, where they not only confirm the correlation with cosmic rays, but they peg a surge to a fairly devastating extreme rain event last September. So the basics are that these cosmic rays are constantly bombarding the atmosphere from every direction in space. When they do, they quickly hit a molecule in the atmosphere and that's when things get interesting. Because that is when each single cosmic ray begins a cascade of hundreds to thousands of charged particles and energetic phenomena. These juice up the atmosphere, including water droplets and the dust they cling to to make the clouds. They impact the electric charge of the clouds themselves and the propensity to drop that rain to the ground. One of these occurs from every square meter of the atmosphere every second. Yes, we are in a soup of these particles at all times. Now here's where I get concerned. Influence, forcing, modulation, that's one thing. Complete control is another. That event in Greece last September is on another level of forcing. It was so severe. As much as I applaud the basis of this space weather science enforcing atmospheric dynamics, this is too much. I can tell you that without the weakening of Earth's magnetic field in the pole shift, this level of extreme doesn't happen. For years, we have been saying that we would start to see severe events caused by this increased flux of space energy let into the atmosphere by the pole shift weakening field, and then they would take over the weather. This is that first part. It's the fifth time we've identified such a storm since 2022, and as much as I want to be happy about the confirmation of my most beloved science concept, I can't help but be concerned. We're on the long way down, and our atmosphere is becoming more and more vulnerable, whether it's record aurora from modest space weather like we saw a month ago, or storms like this one in Greece. The examples keep stacking up. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.